my channel. I'm Janu and I talk about all things intentional and low impact living. Before we hop into the video, I just want to acknowledge that we hit 600 subscribers. Thank you so much, you guys, um, for following my journey. Um, I really put a lot of effort into this work. I just really want the sustainability space to be more inclusive. So thank you so much for joining me on my journey and let's hop into the video. So for today, I'm gonna be sharing with you five brands slash products that I think are greenwashing and that I would recommend staying away from if you are trying to adapt a low waste or natural living journey. Um, a lot of products are greenwashing and they make you think that you're doing good for their environment, but you actually aren't. The first one um, a lot of people don't think about is compostable plates and cutlery and cups. Um, I have so many things to say about that. For one, it only really makes a difference if you actually compost it. So if you have a compostable plate and it's not actually getting composted, it's still going straight to a landfill. Like, although that's better than a plastic styrofoam plate, um, because it's maybe not leaking chemicals into their environment, it's still ending up in a landfill. I think compostable like cutlery brands make you think that you're doing good for the environment by buying their products, but actually, unless you're composting those things, you're really harming the environment because those are just gonna go straight to a landfill and sit there. Just like when you throw away fruits and vegetables and you don't compost it, it's going to a landfill and it's emitting greenhouse gases and that's not good. I went to a blogger influencer event for a company that has like compostable cups and plates and things like that and they had food at the event and so of course they used their own products which I was like okay great and then when it came to like sorting the trash there was no compost so it's just very interesting how it was supposed to be about green living and sustainable living but yet at the event there was no compost and that even the person that was presenting admitted and said that, yeah, that stuff that you threw away is gonna go straight to a landfill and not be composted. And kept saying things about like how the city has to come in and like provide different uh, options for you to compost, which is true, but at the same time, um, it was just very concerning to me, the fact that you're okay with like knowing that your products are going to a landfill nine times out of 10. Cause I know probably a lot of restaurants will also get compostable uh, like dishware from uh, brands like these. But again, like people are throwing this away in the trash. They're not composting it for the most part. So I really think you're doing good for the environment by using compostable dishes. Yes, it's better than using plastic, but it's still gonna end up as waste in the landfill. So I would definitely just always opt for a reusable option when possible. Um, that also goes for cups. I know now with everything going on, a lot of people won't let you use reusable cups. Even like compostable coffee cups or normal coffee cups, they're usually lined with plastic on the inside. Um, so it's very important to know that these compostable cups and dishware like they either need to be composted normally like in your backyard if you can or like the plastic compostable um, cups like if you actually read into it you can't compost it in the normal compost it has to be taken to a certain facility that like heats it and like it's this huge complicated process which obviously no one's taking it to these fancy facilities but I would definitely stay away from using compostable dishware um, it seems like it's a great option and it seems like you're doing great for the planet but you're actually not because unless you are composting it yourself it's not being composted so definitely would opt for not using compostable dishware or cutlery or anything like that so the next kind of item products I think are green washing are a lot of beauty products um, so for example love beauty and planet they literally have the word planet in it and it makes you think that oh like i'm doing good by the environment by buying their products but pretty much all their products except for their bar soap come in plastic so there's a huge disconnect there right like a lot of green beauty products or even vegan beauty products are like oh we're good for the environment we're good for you but it's like if you're creating products that come in all this plastic packaging and this plastic packaging is going to landfill or it's ending up in the ocean and if it's ending up in the ocean, it's hurting marine life. So if you're a vegan brand and you have all this plastic packaging, there's just a huge disconnect there. So I would definitely kind of think about uh, the product's packaging. Obviously, no one's perfect. I even use products that have some plastic in it. It's really difficult, um, but it's all about just like being aware and so you can make a better decision. So like if you're going to Target and you're picking up body wash, instead of buying a plastic thing, a body wash opt for a bar soap, um, it's gonna save you money and it's also gonna save you space and it's better for the environment because you can usually find it either packaged free or just wrapped in paper. So definitely be wary of the companies that are saying that have like green green packaging and say planet and earth and eco-friendly and all these
these different things, but they're packaged in a ton of plastic. How are you really eco-friendly? You're not. So it's that's definitely a sort of greenwashing that I've noticed. Um, and it's also too like the ingredients aren't green. Just because it looks like it's eco-friendly because it's green and maybe there's an earth on it. If you look in the ingredients, um, if they're not natural ingredients, they're harming not only you, but they're also harming the environment because when you're washing these products off of your body and they're going into the water, those are chemicals that are going into the ocean and different water streams. So it's definitely important to me to make sure that I try to uh, look at what brand's intentions really are and I try to shop uh, things that are as plastic free as possible. And then next in terms of beauty, one of my biggest things is biodegradable makeup wipes. I've actually had a couple companies reach out to me in terms of like promoting their biodegradable makeup wipes, but the reason why I refuse to do that is because one, it's still creating waste, right? Like I I need to do a little bit more research as to how they can actually biodegrade. I'll put it up on the screen. Um, but again, just like the compostable dishware, unless it's disposed of properly, it's not going to actually biodegrade. Like it's going to end up in a landfill and there, you definitely should not flush them down the toilet. Um, there's definitely a bunch of like documentaries and things I've watched on like why you should ever flush things, flush makeup wipes down the toilet. Um, but again, I don't believe in buying products when there's a reusable option. So I mentioned in previous videos, take a washcloth, cut it up into pieces and you can reuse that over and over or if you really want to, you can buy makeup cotton rounds, which I don't think are necessary because they're kind of expensive. But definitely I would stay away from biodegradable makeup wipes. I don't think they're necessary. It's just another thing that's kind of greenwashed because it's like, why do you need disposable single use makeup wipes when you can just use reusable ones that are gonna save you a ton of money in the long run. So save your money and save the planet by not using biodegradable makeup wipes. The next one I'm pretty sure everyone has seen and it's those Dawn commercials where they have the dish soap and they're washing the ducks off and they're like going back into the wild and they're like rehabilitating them and I'm just like stop I can't first of all the ingredients in Dawn dish soap are like so bad for you and they're bad for the environment as well so that's number one and then number two you're talking about marine life and animals, but yet you're creating all these products that come in plastic, which you're gonna end up in a landfill and end up in the ocean. So it's gonna end up hurting those same ducks that you are supposedly saving. And it's like, there's just a huge disconnect there. And a lot of consumers are just unaware of these things, like even me. Before I was super into low waste living, I was very into natural living. And I was that person that would have seen a commercial like that and thought, oh, like, Dawn is taking care of ducks. Maybe I should go buy Dawn. But when you think about those things, those are just marketing tactics because if they really cared about the environment, they wouldn't be using plastic that's gonna end up hurting wildlife as well as chemicals in their products that are gonna harm the environment and you. So definitely I would stay away from uh, dish soaps like that or you can opt for a basic Castile soap if you don't have access to a bulk store. Um, I know Castile soap, the liquid will come in plastic, but what you can do is buy Castile soap bars, Bronner's again, you know, my recommendations, I like Bronner's a lot, um, and you can actually melt it down into liquid. So that's what I have to do if you wanna stay away from plastic altogether. But yes, be wary of these green cleaners and green dish soaps that say they care about the environment and are giving back, but really they're harming the environment because they're creating products. They don't come in bottles that are really recyclable and they're gonna go straight to landfill and harm the world around it. So I would definitely stay away from that. And it's just gonna save you a ton of money by making your own cleaning products and just using Castile soap as just soap. So. The next one is any sort of like recycled toilet paper or uh, paper towels. Because if you go to Target for example or any kind of general store, um, they're gonna come wrapped in plastic, which defeats the whole entire purpose of like trying to save the planet, right? So even though there might be these like kind of green logos on it saying like, oh, it's recycled paper and you're doing a job and you're helping the environment, but it's like, it's completely wrapped in plastic, which is gonna go straight to a landfill. Um, so it doesn't make any sense. So for paper towels, I don't use paper towels. I just use reusable cloths um, and just dry my hands and call it a day. I don't think it's necessary to waste your money uh, on paper towels because I just think they're really wasteful because you use them once and then you throw them away so definitely I would opt for reusable towels they're gonna save you so much money in the long run and you're not gonna produce any waste and then when it comes for toilet paper I've recommended a couple options before so I'll link them down below um, but you can opt for bamboo toilet paper that comes wrapped in paper um, I don't think you can find them in stores but you can find them online so I'll link a couple companies down below I hope you found these tips helpful I hope this has helped you in your low waste journey it can be hard when you're starting your low waste journey because you want to do all the right things no one's perfect so don't be too hard on yourself but I hope this video has been helpful 
helpful and has made you think about uh, the products that you think are green but may not be green um, and to really do your research. So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.